Pi? Is it is it Pi Texas? P P P Texas. P Taxi. P Taxis. P uh no. However you say it, it's <laughs> the way in which a leaf is sometimes folded in the bud, and that is a terminal application for Linux. That makes perfect sense. I love it. I, well, if you look at the if you look at the little icon though, there are leaves on it. So tied in? I, yeah. I don't know. So I think the way you say this, and it, it's funny that I'm the one that's, you know, announcing this, um, is Tixis. Tixis. T- and yeah. it does not start taxes. Not taxes, although that's very fun to say. <laughs> um and it, it does start with a P, which is silent. So that makes it very confusing. Just like terra, 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 that bird thing, right? Yeah, uh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. So this was um, Christian Hergert's uh, baby, and it was it was called Gnome Prompt. Right. And after a little, I, I don't even want to say argument or tussle or anything like that. After a conversation with a company that had a, another project called Prompt. Uh, Christian decided to rename it to Tixis. I mean, that's very unique. So he's got one on that, right? Um, Dan, and you were thinking, right, like like Putty and Kitty and Alack Gritty and all yeah. that, like the T Y. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it just makes my that's how my brain works. So like, but it makes sense, right? Because like P T Y, right, is yeah. that is is the type of uh, T T Y or type yeah. of. Uh, prompt you get whenever you open up one of these ones in software, right? right PTY. Right, right. So the, I, it, I, it helps with my spelling. Every time I think about it, you're right, actually. That's how I'm going to remember because I can never remember if the pie comes first. And I think that's because I mispronounce it. At the beginning, it was not deliberate. Now it's just deliberate because I refuse to say it well, properly. It's but right. So when I'm typing it, I can remember like TTY, PTY. Mm-hmm. And okay, all right. So, but I don't think you'll ever hear me say it properly ever, um, just because it's never in my life. Texas, have I seen that word? Yeah. <laughs> Before Dan and I decided to go the uh, the Aurora Bluefin uh, Fun Atomic whatever route, and then it turns out this is going to be the terminal forever and for good in GNOME in Fedora 41, well, right? Is it though? Well, I mean it is for GNOME 41. They're they're making a switch. There's there's definitely right. a drive to do that. But is it going to be the terminal forever because I mean, I feel like we've been through a few to get here. Uh, I mean, remember whole, GNOME console? It, well, but like terminal was a thing, right? GNOME terminal? Right. Gnome, well, GNOME Terminal was a thing for a very long time. Yeah, right? GTK 3 thing. So then we decided that we had to move on to GTK 4. Fair enough. And there's right? been a whole host of them that have materialized um, throughout the world. GNOME Console was my favorite because it changed color based on context. It, it, it did. Yep. It's it's actually not terrible, um, but it, it was not feature complete. And Right. That was everybody's biggest complaint yeah. about it, too, it, was that uh, it's missing this feature, that feature that GNOME Terminal could do. Why would I want to use a thing that, exactly. that has less, you know, that has less features? Yeah, we, we went backwards in functionality and that, that, that wasn't, that didn't set well. And that's understandable. Right. And nobody wanted to take the time to write all the stuff to go into that to, to get it all backward compatible. Yeah. Then so that, that prompted yeah, then, Christian to create prompt. Right. <laughs> and then we renamed that to Texas. 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 Right. Um so my thing is, right, so Christian wrote about why he changed the name of prompt mm-hmm. to Texas. And there, that's the freebie. I said it right <laughs> once. Um, but and and it was it was to to avoid confusion yeah. with it's other unique. projects named it, Prompt. My my thing is why How, why would you need to do that when no music exists? And you know, there's an Apple Music. There's I'm sure there's there, I'm sure Windows has a music Windows Music. I'm I'm sure that exists. Um, and like GNOME does this a lot, don't they? Like they have the they do, and then they come back to the, it eventually. Right, super basic, simple, rememberable names, yep. as opposed to Tixis, which, I mean, 
I, I think the the real thing is like if you really don't know how to spell it, right? Like if if I look at the YouTube uh, AI generated transcription for this, how do you think Tixis is gonna actually be spelled? That's a I said good, it properly. That is a good question. For that reason, what does it say down there? I don't know what it says right now because we haven't uploaded this video, but I'm pointing down to it right now. I say Tixis, Tixis, Tixis. How do you think? What what does that look like right uh, now? And I bet you anything, it's not spelled P T Y X I S. Oh no! So when you have to go that extra step, when you say, "Oh yeah, just just uh, just open up Tixis," I mean, I know that you can just say terminal and type in terminal, and there's the gnome thing where you can just make it be terminal or whatever. Trust me, Blue Bluefin definitely did. Well, that. they even changed the icon so it matches better too. Right. Uh, at right. least at, at least in Fedora. When you gotta spell it right, I think having a name like that can can hurt. Uh, a bit. No one has any trouble spelling prompt. And maybe there was some really, really good reasoning to move from prompt to Texas outside of, oh, it could just be confused with other things. But man, that, that, it, it, that does, eh. it, it so here's the thing it does have some features that, it, you know, bring it back to where we want to yeah. be, I think. Here's the good stuff. Here's the good stuff. It, it it works nicely with the container stuff. It works nicely with the distro box and the toolbox and all of those things. And you can set up profiles for various different things, which is, you know, I mean, that's kind of what you expect from your terminal emulator, right? Right. But, but it does them very well. It actually looks pretty good. It has, you know, different themes and stuff that you can run through and make it look halfway decent and, and stuff like that. So I think it it actually does complete the the whole gtk4 terminal emulator dilemma that that i wouldn't say it's been existing but i mean gnome 40 was the first gtk4 port if you will for most of gnome things right and then some of them did languish a little bit behind so that's been out for a while i mean and so now we're finally catching up with the terminal emulator which feels like yeah. it would have been one of the first things because it's you yeah. know small ish type of application, but it was not. So here we are. And so it feels to me that uh, that Texas Taxis is a GNOME terminal for GNOME developers. Correct. That and that's perfectly fine because it turns out that um, I don't normally care. <laughs> yeah, I just I open mean, a terminal and run right? my commands, right? So, and and using um, taxis or console or whatever, it does. It actually does not matter to me in any way whatsoever because I can still run my commands and whatever. It it works, right? I can SSH into stuff, but that also means that I don't actually take advantage of a lot of the a lot of the where uh, Texas actually excels. Yeah. And so I think it's going to force me to to learn a little bit more about DistroBox and these, uh, uh, you know, just messing around with containers and things. Does it have like Podman integration and stuff? Uh, yeah, I think Docker and Podman are things that it works with as well. I don't know all of those features. I'll I'll be honest with you, I don't know all of those features. I do use the profiles though, um, because I use the profiles in other oh. other terminal emulators too, because I have different uh, shells installed. So sometimes right. I want to open up a Zish one, or maybe I want a fish oh. one, or sometimes I just want good old bash because I'm doing something yeah. right down and dirty, want to be bash. Um, so right. I'll, I, I usually, that's the very least is I set those up. And so I, I like to set those up with different colors so that I know I'm in a bash shell now, or I'm in a fish shell here. Oh. And, and so that's nice. Th that's definitely one of the things I Absolutely you just don't. Have to you have. just don't echo shell. Come on, oh, Dan. That's not <laughs> great. And you, you can obviously put it in your prompt too. That's the other thing. You, can, you right. can echo that out into your prompt, and so that you know what shell you're into. But I don't know. I think the color thing helps my brain. So that's that's where I go. That's actually a good point. I I do like to use fish uh, quite a bit, mm -hmm. and, but I do have to live in bash. Yeah, and I think that may be a good way for me to have both. Yep. And and not not wish I was in the other or have to open up a whole nother uh, a whole nother terminal. Yeah. And that's usually what I do. Right. Like, I mean, if I'm going to live in the terminal for a little bit, then I just I full screen the thing. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, worst case, I have two sitting side by side. Yep. Uh, taking up the full screen. So um, that, that that might be a good way to do it, because it, it looked like um, Texas had this overview thing. It does. Like how Gnome does yep. when you flick up 
on the trackpad, you get you, you see all the stuff that's going on. That's another thing where it really shines, right? Because it has all the keyboard shortcuts and stuff, so you can you can do those things. And then you can have the overview of all of your terminals, and uh, that's not you know that's different than your Windows because they could be tabs yeah. inside one terminal window. Right. I don't dislike that at all. Right. Um, that's actually some of my favorite stuff that I've seen that Texas can do. So, yep. I mean, it does, it it's certainly a continuation of where I think GNOME console was trying to go yes. in the first place. And you can kind of actually see it right in some, when you bring down that preferences menu, it's the same thing. It's It's got a couple of things added from where console came from, but it's, I'm pretty sure that spiritual successor yeah. stuff going yeah, on right well there. Be. Yeah. Yeah, and I like that. I like that a lot. Um, I I hope that Texas will see that the color coding, right? Like when I SSH Mm -hmm. into something, it changes a different color. If I'm in the root prompt for any reason, it changes color. Yes, I know that it's got the little number symbol down there, the Octothorpe uh, down there to remind me that I'm in no-no mode. Well, even if you've entered in your, you've done a sudo command, that obviously remains in, in your session for a while until it times out. Like, yeah, console actually stays red when you've done yeah. sudo for a little while until it times out. Right. So, you know, you know, I don't walk away from this until I, you know, exit. Yeah. Until it's not scary color anymore. I, exactly. I like that, man. I love anything that, without taking up screen real estate, indicates to me what's going on in the background that mm-hmm. gives me hints about what's happening. So, man, if if speaking of feature request, <laughs> that's it, man. Bring the color stuff back. Obviously, yep. put a toggle in there for the people that ob- obviously hate it. But for me, man, oh, man, I'll turn that toggle on all day. I love that kind of stuff. Uh, so you and I are both, you know, on the immutable train here as of late. Yeah, we still, are. Even, still even. Yeah. It's still there. And so I'm on Aurora, which is the KDE Plasma Kinoite. Uh, version of, you know, in Universal Blue. Right. And the odd thing here is Tixis is the default terminal there. Right. And so it and... stands out a little bit because it is not a cute application. It's not terrible. And it's not be... QT either. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, it's not. It's not the end of the world to me. I can get by just fine with anything, but it does right. not look like the other applications I have. So that's a little unfortunate. Right. And so I do the end. I don't fix it, but I do the end run around because I'm, I'm just like you. I run Aurora, the Kinoite uh, lineage, right? And every time you type in console or terminal, somehow Tixis pops up. Uh, so I just... I type in console in Texas, launch console, and then pin that down to the bottom. So whenever I need it, I click it. And uh, I mean, I can fix that. You can fix that. There's actually a fix for that. But uh, I think it requires like extra layers and stuff. So I don't, I don't want to fix that. Yeah. I'm, I'm not trying to make my image bigger. Um, so I just, I link it and use it and it's, it's fine, but yeah, it just looks weird in a, in a I mean, obviously I have them both installed, right? So it's just fine. I'm not worried about it. It's not anything that's going to make me stop running Aurora for any reason whatsoever. Cause, uh, no. uh it's, it's eh, eh, slight yeah. inconvenience at worst. Exactly. Yeah, but it looks like uh, Tixis, and I mean that that may not just be uh, just Tixis. It might be more a GTK four wider thing. But we're missing some translations, which means yeah, translations uh, are the biggie thing. Yeah, and screen readers for a long time were not working. But I did test it right before we started, and it looked like Orca. I couldn't get Orca to shut up. But you could not. <laughs> no, but but Orca <laughs> did read everything on the screen. So it there did. may still be bugs with it, but it is enabled. It is good. It, but it's possible. Yeah. Right, and I think I'm I'm on I don't know if I'm on latest. I'd have to check uh, on Bluefin, but I'm I'm sure I'm on GNOME 40. So I'm probably yeah, it's, I'm newish. You're getting most of the updates, yeah. Right. So um, yeah. So it, so does, we're, do, we're, uh, it does do a few color coding thingies, but it's not quite the same as console as right. far as the behavior. So yeah, that I want that. that. Give me that. You want all of it back. I mean, you yes, know, nothing. I nothing do. Like being greedy, but that's okay. 
Listen, listen. It's a wish list kind of greedy. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, that's like, true. I would love it. It would be fine if it doesn't, but I would love it if yeah. <laughs> that, that kind of greedy. Yeah. There you go. I will be that for life. All right. You can catch all the great topics as they unfold on our Lemmy subreddit or our news channel on Discord. You can catch all those Linux user space, that show, slash Lemmy's, Reddit, Discord. And we even have Mastodon, Telegram, Matrix. And then we stream live on Twitch, opposite Ooh. weeks of when we release the show. That's right. Uh, and then we have Twitter or X or whatever we're calling that this week. It's still Twitter. It will always be Twitter. But if you want the OG <laughs> Twitter, here's where you got to go. The brand new space. The OG Twitter replacement is Blue Sky. And we're there, too. We are yep. everywhere. Yep. And I guess we've gone long enough. Um, we also post out the shorts stuff that we have on YouTube, right? That also does indeed go to the old TikTok. And oh, uh, yeah. what's that other one? Uh, Instagram Reels. Yeah, the TikTok and the Instagrams. That's right. And it turns out that when you have an Instagram, you also basically have a threads, too. So I guess we so, have that. Yeah. We have that too. Now, let's see how long it takes for me to go absolutely insane trying to post stuff in these places. I think that's why people pay like $10 a month to these services that just automatically do it for you. But some places do hashtags, some places only let you do one, and some places let you do hashtag spam, and then some places don't do hashtags at all. And it's like, what? I don't... Ah. Yeah, so, yeah. Insanity yeah, incoming. And, and then you have character limitations in some of them too. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, you can't even get that straight within the Mastodon sphere, right? Is it 512? Oh Is it 1024? Is it 2040? I don't know. How big Everybody's can you... Everybody's different. It's an, yeah. it's an entire blog out it, there. So there's a good chance um, that you can type in linuxuserspace.show slash or lus.sh slash the thing, and you can find it. Now, here's the question. Dan, will mm. threads, Instagram... Uh, was that other one? TikTok, all those be available by the time this episode comes out? I don't know. Type it in. Find well, out. Maybe. I'll try. That's a that's a uh, that's, that's a, a challenge point. to you. Go find okay. out if Dan is fast and type in lust.sh slash let's just say TikTok and find out. 